All right, y'all, this is like a pardon the interruption video, but we hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube today. Ah! So congratulations to me and thank you guys for supporting me and subscribing and showing up to my weekly vlogs. I know sometimes it gets chaotic, but it goes down and it's a really real vibe as a flight attendant. My whole goal was to always share with new flight attendants what the real life of a flight attendant really looks like because sometimes it can get chaotic. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. 5K, 10K on the way. Make sure y'all subscribe, okay? But thank you guys so much for the support. It's really appreciated and I'm very, 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 very thankful for you guys to tap into my channel. Listen, I'm very thankful. Very thankful, very happy, and I'm very excited for this new journey. Woo, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's get back into this video. This video, this is a chaotic video too. We are in Atlanta picking up an out-of-base pickup trip. So we had two terms out of Atlanta. It was worth 17 hours. So one trip was worth eight hours and 41 minutes. The other one was almost like nine hours. So it's almost like 17 hours and 41 minutes. And then we had a chaotic commute back to JFK. We thought we already did. This was a whole show, but make sure y'all watch the video and see what's going on. And let me know in the comments um, what you guys think. I did fly with wigs. That's in the video too. Stay, stay tuned for part two of that because it was a long video. We had so much fun and I love flying with my friends. So yes, I'm here just to insert my editing self into the video. Thanks so much for my subscribers. 5,000. The support is crazy. Okay, bye y'all. Flying with skates, back at it again, here with another great video for you guys today. All right, y'all. Good morning and welcome to another day in the life of a flight attendant. We are doing what I spent in a day as a flight attendant. We picked up out of Atlanta. We are doing a Vegas turn and we're back by 4.30. Right now it's currently 4.30 a.m. So let's get our gas, get our breakfast, and then head to the airport. I did pick this ship up out of base. I am in Atlanta and I had the whole week off, so I decided to pick up out of Atlanta the whole week. Let's go. So I was on gas this morning. Put that big. Now let's get our breakfast real quick. I don't care what y'all say, but I love Waffle House. Play with your mother and not me. This is so good. We made it to Vegas, we have a short turn time, so let's head right back to Atlanta. Let's go. How are you? We're doing Atlanta to LAX, LAX to Atlanta. This is a quick turn. I picked it up on the swap board an hour before it signed in. Let's go to LA. All right, so today we have a couple things we gotta do. We have to go to the gym today. We gotta go to the gym today. My friend is graduating flight attendant training. So I'm here in Atlanta for that. Um, I need to go to the gym, flight attendant graduation, and I need to commute home. I need to commute back to New York. <laughs> Um, this is the relative flight attendant on my day off. We're gonna get our day started. These are my vitamins that I do take when I take vitamins. It's definitely flu season, so make sure y'all get healthy. <laughs> Stay healthy and get healthy before it's too, it's too late. Go to the gym. Got some Lysol because people are getting sick out here. I think GG class is graduating, and then that's pretty much it. I'm trying to decide if I want to commute back to New York today. People always ask, so I've been getting this question a lot. People are like, okay, so you live in Atlanta. Can you explain your situation? Um, so listen, here's the thing. I live with my family in Atlanta, and I live in a apartment in New York, okay? That's pretty much it. I call both of these places my home because they are my home. I live in Atlanta all the, not all the time, like maybe once a month I come here to see my family, but I'm really living in New York because I'm always there because of work. But I'm never really in New York because I'm always at work. You know what I'm saying? I'm only really in New York on my off days or for a couple of hours because 
yeah that's how it pretty much goes i'm actually in between deciding i have like three days to decide if i want to change my base back to atlanta or stay in new york and i'm really like in between i don't know what i want to do because i love being based in new york and i love living in atlanta but i don't like my atlanta schedule I don't like working four legs a day. I don't like working three legs a day. I don't like working two legs a day. <laughs> so, <laughs> I might as well stay in New York where I can work one leg a day or two legs that are like, you know, easy legs. I can work two legs in a day if it's like a turn and I go right back home, you know? I love my New York crew. I was just saying like, I'm gonna cry when I leave New York because I really love my New York based crew. Like I've always have good times in New York. I just feel at home in New York, but I feel at home in Atlanta, but not in the base, if that makes any sense. But I miss getting in my car and driving right home at their work. Like, it's amazing. Granted, I drive home, I'm like in an Uber. <laughs> I get in an Uber and, um, I get in an Uber, I get in an Uber in um, New York and go home. <laughs> so I just don't know. I'm asking God to lead me so I was really have I literally don't have a clue on what I want to do so I'm praying God gives me a sign and some clarity I just don't know like I'm really stuck in between a hard place right now but I need to head to the gym it's currently 8 44 a.m and it's Friday happy Friday we got paid today um so yeah oh hey it's on the track y'all so we are getting ready to go to we are getting ready to go to one of my friends graduations they're graduating from um, daddy D as a flight attendant six long weeks so I'm gonna put my lipstick on and head to graduation uh, so yeah I just like showing up in uniform so I'm always just like maybe on time so let's get out of this car Congratulations. Okay, go sit down. Before I start my day, y'all, it's 6 a.m. I have to be at the airport by 6. It's on my face. I was out last night, right? Let's commute home to New York. I'm so mad it's so early and it's like, it's probably over, so let's go. We're in Atlanta. <coughs> All right, y'all, we got a seat. So we must head to the plane. Thank you, Jesus. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm so tired. Yeah, Briggs and Riley. Mm. Alright y'all, so we're in Detroit Airport. Our fart got diverted to Detroit from Atlanta and then canceled. So now we're gonna go from Detroit to LaGuardia, hopefully on the jump seat. So let's see if we can make it. This is like a flight attendant. So I would like to love y'all. Alright y'all, we finally got a flight from Detroit. So we're gonna go to Detroit to LaGuardia and then Uber from LaGuardia to, J to my place in Brooklyn. I got the jump seat, so if the flight attendant doesn't show up 15 minutes before the flight, you can take the jump seat if it's already listed. Eight hours later, we made it to LaGuardia, but now let's head home and get ready for work tomorrow. Like the little flight attendant.
Let's go. Then for all of the traffic madness. With all this nasty rain. All right, y'all, let's start our three-day trip. We're going to JFK, I'm in my Uber. It's currently 9.20, we have a sign in of 10.30, so let's go to the airport. Make sure y'all subscribe, thanks. It's a rain, it's a rainy day in New York City. Remember y'all, I told y'all, I don't work for legs, right? Oh. And I'm being really serious. I've not worked for legs in like two years. Why are you working for legs, Simone? So I told y'all the reason why I'm working for legs today because somebody texts my phone and said, get this chair. And I was just like, girl, who is this? First of all, I don't want to say Do my coffee. Here. And in compliance. You are in compliance. Uh -oh. What are you talking about? So you can't tell people, you can't, give, you can't give nobody a compliment because they will not take it, okay? How do you, how do So I just got on the plane, I briefed with the crew. Now let's set up the plane for the service. Or not service, but like for the flight. Put waters out. Make sure we have everything that we need with catering. This flight is under a thousand miles, so we do not have a service. Let's go to Atlanta. people are on a plane so this is all done before we start boarding let's go to the first video is sponsored by Lysol today let's go look at my lovely Swiss your coffee's here I think right okay she's putting on my waters for me I'm gonna put your face in it thank you so much thank you okay boarding in two minutes so I'm put my camera away and then get ready to start boarding all right y'all 
go. We got three more legs to go. First one is down. This was a little high maintenance flight, y'all. First class was given first class today. Are we in Atlanta? Let's go home. All right, y'all, we are on our second leg of the day. A leg is a flight. We call them legs. Like, I don't know why we call them legs, but <laughs> it's our second leg of the day. We're going to go to Panama City Beach from Atlanta, so it's probably like a 50 minute flight. I don't even think that it's a service on this flight because it's so short. Um, we have a plane change and I'm still the A. I feel like this is like when I first got hired as a flight attendant doing all these legs, <laughs> working like this, but um, it's like a quick, quick turn. So let's go on the plane and on this plane before. Look at this plane. Is a Boeing 737 900ER to R. Never ever flown this plane. It's a quick turn though. Look at this. Look at the jump seat. Oh, this is the, the midget door. The short door. I remember there's some training though. Sure. 